about my life. Nobody's interested in my experiences, the things I've loved, the time I taught my horses to shake hands, or my beehive's glorious honey, the silkworms I raised and actually got some silk to spin. No one cares about the places I've been. Once I invited the neighbors for Turkish tea, fired up the samovar until steam rose in the Berkeley Hills. These friends didn't care about my experiences. Nobody wants to hear that I sat with my first husband, the father of our child, in a gay bar before gay was in the vocabulary and tried to understand that he could go to jail for how he loved someone. No one wants to hear that. He educated me far beyond my university. Would anyone care to hear about my being out of my head with real hallucinations? And I've never taken LSD. Anyone want to know about my gratitude to my present husband for not committing me or drugging me to normal, whatever normal is? Does anyone want to see the notes back to me from Norman O. Brown after I sent him all my poems? or see his new book, delivered to me, hot off the press, Love's Body, significantly not signed. No one wants to hear about Peter Orlovsky, his work in my garden, that he borrowed the car. No one wants to hear about riding horseback with Allen Ginsberg or the time I had tea at their place. Peter was so beautiful in red jockey shorts. Alan extolling meditation. Nobody wants to hear about that. Who wants to know about my service trip to India? How to empower people who live in the shanty towns of New Delhi? Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to do that. Nothing about my children, nor my good husband, 87, still running in the Boulder, Boulder race. Nobody wants to hear how much I enjoy my life, how simple I am.